Don't you just hate it when some videos are loud and other videos are quiet? Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Joshua Verwers, and today we're talking about what Joshua does to customize the match loudness in Adobe what? Premiere Pro. Now you may be wondering why you would want to custom match loudness anyways. Well, it's because you want to make sure that the loudness level is the same and it's consistent on all of the videos that you want to put out there. And you might actually want that level to be a custom level because Adobe doesn't like it as loud as YouTube likes it. And believe it or not, YouTube is not going to bring up the volume of your audio Video, the only thing they'll do is actually drop the volume if it's too loud and I've seen multiple videos that have kind of covered this and I'm not going to cover that but if you want to check out a video that's maybe a little bit more technical on this that other people have already done well I'll make sure to leave a link in the description below however Premiere Pro has this feature called auto match loudness and typically when you've installed Premiere Pro it comes in at negative 23 luffs and if you want to learn all about luffs go ahead and do that that's not what this is for but what I have found is that YouTube actually likes negative 14 so how do we get Premiere Pro to do negative 14 luffs instead of negative 23 luffs? Well, it takes a little bit of hacking of the system. Now, I'm sure if Adobe saw this, they wouldn't be too pleased because they don't want you to be able to adjust that. However, Adobe, if you ever watch this video, please give us an adjustment on that match loudness volume so we don't have to hack it like this video is going to show you. Now, let's go ahead and jump into Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm going to show you here on my Windows PC, and then we'll jump over on the Mac, and I'll show you how to do this on both of them. All right, let's say I just grab a little clip here. We're going to grab this from one of my previous vlogs. I'll go ahead and just drop this into the sequence because this isn't even what I want to show you. What I want to show you is over in our audio tab. Okay, so once you click on your audio tab, if you look over, you should have an essential sound panel. And when you select your clip, you can assign an audio type, whether it be dialogue, music, sound effects, or some type of an ambience. Me personally, because this is a dialogue track, I want it to be dialogue. And that's what I want to be loud because I want that to be heard. So I'm going to click on dialogue and then it'll pull up this loudness as your top selection. If you check that, you see that this clip has not been matched. What do you do? You click auto match. However, the problem again is that Adobe sets this at negative 23 luffs and we want that at negative 14 because that seems to be the loudest that you can have it that YouTube accepts it without trying to decrease the volume. So let's go ahead and clear this audio type. I'm going to resave this and we're going to close out of Premiere Pro and here's how we're going to get to it. Open up a Windows Explorer and you're going to want to go into wherever you're saving this profile for Adobe. For me, it's just in the documents folder. If I scroll down, you'll see Adobe. We got Premiere Pro. I'm going to select the latest version of 15. Click on the profile that you have. And then you go to settings, essential sound, the default and dialogue, because that's where it's at. Now, when you open up dialogue, all you're going to see is a bunch of these files that are basically telling it what to do. We want to go with configure. I'm going to open this up in a notepad. And once I open this up, I'm hitting control F or find, and I'm just gonna type in loudness. Now, the first thing I'm looking for is this model underscore loudness. Once I've got it there, I'm just going to use my arrow keys to scroll over until I find this default loudness. The value is negative 23. I'm getting rid of the negative 23. I'm putting in negative 14. I'm going to file, save, and closing that out. Then all we do is open back up Premiere Pro. We go back where we're at in the audio tab under the essential sounds panel, click on dialogue again, you click match loudness. It says that it's been analyzed, but it's not matched yet. And now when we hit auto match, negative 14. And now we've got a loud volume that's a standard across the entire clip. So that's on Windows, but how do you do this on a Mac? Now we're just going to open up the finder, hit the documents on here, Adobe, Premiere Pro, 15, my profile, Scroll down till we get to the settings, essential sound, the default, dialog, and it is configure. Just go ahead and open this with the text editor. We're going to do command F, which will open up your find. Type in loudness. And as you see right here with the model loudness, you have got negative 23. And we're changing that to negative 14. Now just save it. Close it. And then you just want to relaunch Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, if you just go over to your audio panel, again, we're going to select the clip, click on dialogue, check your loudness, auto match, and once again, negative 14 luffs. And there you have it. 
That's how you get a custom match loudness in Adobe Premiere Pro for your Mac or your PC. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up and like it. Share it with somebody if you think they would find it helpful. And uh, by the way, if you found it helpful, don't forget to subscribe. That way you can get more content like this that'll help you share your message. And I even dropped some content that'll encourage you to live by faith. And if you've got any questions or thoughts on how you might be using this, well, I'd love to hear them in the comments section below. And until next time, stay blessed. Enjoy God's best and have a great day.